STEM Girls Club Roadshow. Um, so we've got 26 STEM ambassadors from all kind of aspects of STEM, science, tech, engineering and maths. And over 80 to 90 students from five different schools in South East and West London. Um, they've all come to meet real life STEM role models, um, which there aren't very many of. Less than 23% of the engineering and STEM workforce are female. So without those role models, it's very hard for those girls to picture themselves in those positions. So I'm hoping that tonight we'll introduce the girls to real life people that are doing those real life jobs um, to try and encourage them to take STEM and STEM subjects at A level and at degree level. It's really inspiring to hear from uh, many different women in, in the industry and it's just amazing to hear their stories and have an idea of maybe what we'd like to do. I like um, the fact that it's kind of, you've got all these opportunities and you could be one of the first people to do these things as a woman, because it's kind of different. Well, one or two of the um, people have kind of said that even if you, um, that you should, it should be quite open and even if there are lots and lots of different areas of science and all the other things and that you should kind of do what interests you the most and then if there are any changes just kind of roll with it. Um, there was one person she said that before teaching someone um, how to use technology she said she thought can I teach a 90 year old to use this and I just find that quite inspiring. running STEM Girls Club for um, the last couple of months. Um, we've got some really enthusiastic Year 7s uh, attending and recently we've been designing um, prosthetic arms and we've been looking at the anatomy of the arm and trying to reproduce that using Lego, using pulleys, using bits of spoons, balloons, all kinds of things. Um, the aim of the club is to try and raise awareness of engineering um, careers, give them a higher profile and um, next on the cards uh, we're going to be looking at chemical engineering, structural engineering and once we finish the biological engineering um, project.